professional quality people have just watched. Well done, Pete. Thank you. Uh, you know, with the team's done great. Uh, Barry, uh, we, what a battle. I mean, thank God for an extra 404 cc's. Because <laughs> I won it on the line with power. Um, I messed up um, at the hairpin there and went round and ended up on the grass on the inside, which allowed Barry back in, which was a major mistake. And I made a couple of mistakes after that. And I, I did plan him to pass him on the straight. and So I'm glad about that, but thank God for 400 cc's. But thanks to Louise, who stepped in, and she's done a tremendous job. It's the first time we've really ridden the bike in anger that where it's starting to get close. And my mechanics, Ian and Warren, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Oh, well, we used to nickname it Primer Paint Pete because that's what it used to look like. Look at the glisten of that. Man, you've got an awesome team behind you. That is one beautiful sidecar. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not in the pirate team colours, but with the issues we've had with this bike, minor ones, but enough to stop us riding, it properly, we couldn't get time for a respray, so hopefully before the next round it may get done, I don't know, but it may be the end of the year before it gets done, of, you know, to get a win against Barry and, and now it's Mr Scrivener. Uh, I'm well pleased, and it was a hard fall battle. Yeah, I won it on, on the line, but I think up until then, I was probably riding better. Uh, but I lost my cool a bit when I went onto the grass and took me a while to get my heart from, uh, you know, going wherever it was in the sky back down to planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, the secret, uh, if you found the formula, is that what you've got to do in the remaining two races, and particularly for the TT tomorrow? Is it, is it to remove those errors and you can do it easier? How do you feel? Oh, I, don't, I can't answer that. I mean, you know, Barry and Tracy, they're wily characters, and Andy... He's got a slightly different agenda, I would think. I mean, the championship is over now. It's either going to be him or Dennis. And he probably thought, now, nah, stuff it, I'll get the points and, and make sure I win the championship rather than get involved in the ding-dong with me, which is probably the better choice. But that's up to him. If he gets involved in the ding-dong with me, that's fine with me. Great to see you. Well done, Pete. Lovely. Thank Let's you. have Louise up here because this is just fabulous. <laughs> Louise, we saw you get your helmet off. The sweat was I pouring. Know. And it was a smile on your face, the glowy hair. You feel it? That was certainly a battle and a half. That was awesome. It was really awesome to race against Tracy and Baz. That was really cool well done really good race and you're right in what you say about um having a good team behind you most yeah. most important thing and um big thanks to them all right so um, if we had yourself and trace up here we would say you ladies play a crucial role i don't think the average lady out there has an idea in heaven what you do on the back of those bikes to keep them under control what's it like being a swinger well i'm just gonna um meet up with tracy and tell her to keep it a secret <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a secret. Because I know she keeps a few little secrets. She's so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so did you did you feel the pain and the agony that Pete was going through and trying to um, meet, match the battle there? How did I, it feel I felt like for the you? pain when we nearly came off, off the track, oh, and oh, I was oh. thinking, oh, just calm down, Pete, calm down. But, um, yeah, there's a few, few little swear words going on in my head, but he, he put it back on the track, and we, we did it. <laughs> All right, so from a, uh, from a uh, athleticism point of view, do you train to be a swinger? Oh, never enough training. Never, never enough. Never enough. No, yeah. but you know, I do train. I do um, little bits and pieces of this and that. But well done. but you, you beat your beat yourself up. You're never as good as you want to be. All right, there we go. Well done. What a great podium. Here we are with the Prelly podium in the sidecars. Back to you guys. Thanks very much, Neil. Well, we've just seen a great start there in the uh, the post classics here at uh, Hampton Downs. A pretty good start from Dennis uh, Charlotte and a good start too from the 77 the Kawasaki ZX400 of uh, Scott Finley as uh, they make their way down into uh, turn number two here at uh, Hampton on the big international circuit. And two have already started to clear out. We'll just have to have a quick look at them when they come just uh, a little wee bit closer. I think it might be the 34. Down. Yeah, I think you're right. Got one rider that never got away. They'll have to move that bike uh, in double quick time, I would think. And that's uh, the uh, little bit of activity down here in front of us <laughs> in the broadcast point at the moment. Let's go back into the racing, this big field of post-classics. And this is pretty much a sprint for them, just the four laps. And, uh, well, uh, anything can happen and usually does. And it looks like here, just having a look, the leaders coming out of the... Uh, the higher pull hairpin now, and it, it is a two-man race at the front of the field. 
Yeah, I think it's the 34. The 34 in the Daniel front. Medum. And then it's the uh, Macintosh Suzuki, the number two of uh, Dennis Charlotte. Dennis Charlotte of of the CRC uh, paint job. That's an uh, um, iconic uh, little Macintosh Suzuki. So this is awesome stuff. A bit of a blast from the past. And uh, these guys had a good battle uh, this class last year at the very uh, same circuit. So uh, this is uh, all on here. The two have already bolted. We haven't even completed a lap. And uh, it is uh, the 34 of Daniel Medum. And uh, well, I think we've got a red. So I think we're going to get through the uh, bike's cleared off the start line so uh, I think we've gone to a full red flag here Phil Yeah exactly right, the red flags have come out well Daniel Medlin will be cursing under the helmet because I'm sure he thought if I can get a start on Dennis Charlotte that's something pretty special any time and if I can do it here uh, in front of a big crowd at the Motorfest all the better but it, all that work has been undone now by uh, a bike uh, that is considered by race control, the officials here that run everything uh, to be in a dangerous spot, that's why the red flags have come out here at Hampton Down and uh, the leader's already heading back into the pits. That is a wonderful machine, that number two, the, um, in, in the CRC.